Hey everyone and welcome to Weekly Update. I'm Sarah Bonadies. The Super Tuesday results are finally in, so let's get started. According to the New York Times, Trump was the big winner on Super Tuesday with victories in seven states including Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Vermont, and Virginia. Ted Cruz, who had previously been slipping behind in the race, proved on Tuesday that his campaign is not over yet, as he picked up victories in Alaska, Oklahoma, and in his home state of Texas. Marco Rubio, on the other hand, was not as successful, as he only came away with a victory in the state of Minnesota. This is Rubio's first primary victory in the race so far, and because of this, his campaign is still considering Super Tuesday successful, despite losing the other 11 states. And as Rubio continues to make attempts to become the anti-Trump GOP candidate, we'll have to wait and see if he will emerge successful in the weeks to come. Now on to the Democratic Party results. Hillary dominated Super Tuesday with victories in seven states including Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia, while Bernie came away with victories in Colorado, Minnesota, Oklahoma, and Vermont. So after Tuesday's results, how close are the candidates from receiving the nomination? Well, not very, but they're getting there. According to Politico's delegate count tracker, the Democratic Party nomination requires 2,383 delegates, and after Clinton's big Super Tuesday win, Clinton only needs 1,349 more delegates, while Sanders needs 1,975 more delegates. The Republican Party, however, only requires 1,237 delegates to receive the nomination, and after Super Tuesday, Trump only needs 921 more delegates, while Cruz needs 1,011 delegates, and Rubio needs 1,131 more delegates. Super Tuesday may be over, but the race for the presidential nomination certainly is not. There are 26 more primaries and caucuses in the month of March alone, including Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, and Nebraska, whose citizens will all head to the polls this coming Saturday. So what do you think about Super Tuesday's results? And what are your predictions for March 5th? Comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Weekly Update and I'll see you next week.